and welcome to two-digit subtraction. Let's take our first problem. There were 45 bananas in a basket. The zookeeper gave 21 bananas to the monkeys. How many bananas were left? Let's begin by modeling 45 using base 10 blocks. Four tens and five ones. Start in the ones place. Are there enough ones to subtract? There are five ones and we need to subtract one. Yes, there are enough, so we subtract. Five minus one is four. Next, move to the tens place and repeat the process. Are there enough tens to subtract? There are. Subtract four minus two, and the answer is two. There are 24 bananas left. Let's try another problem. Here we see the zoo snacks sold, 60 bags of peanuts and 35 bags of popcorn. How many more bags of peanuts were sold than popcorn? Hmm, this is a comparison problem. We'll need to find the difference between the two numbers. Model 60 by showing six tens. As you can see, there are no ones. When we start in the ones place and we ask ourselves, do we have enough? We must go to the tens place and regroup. We're going to take one of the tens and exchange it for 10 ones. Next, we'll record this by decreasing the number of tens from six tens to five tens. We'll also increase the number of ones from zero ones to 10 ones. Now, are there enough to subtract? There are. 10 minus five equals five, and five tens minus three tens is two tens. There were 25 more bags of peanuts sold than popcorn. Let's try one more. At the zoo, 56 tickets were sold. 18 were for adults and the rest were for children. How many children tickets were sold? We've modeled 56 by showing five tens and six ones. Starting in the ones place, we'll know, do we have enough to subtract? In this case, we don't. We'll need to regroup. We'll exchange one ten for 10 ones. Next, we'll record this by decreasing the number of tens. Five tens is now four tens, but six ones is now 16 ones. Now we have enough to subtract, and we will. 16 minus eight equals eight, and four tens minus one ten is three tens. There were 38 tickets sold for children. So let's recap. Remember, modeling with 10 base 10 blocks helps us to see what we're doing when we regroup. We start in the ones place. Ask ourselves, are there enough to subtract? If there are, then we can simply subtract. Five minus one equals four, and then move to the tens place. Four tens minus two tens is two tens. Sometimes, however, we do not have enough in the ones place. Here we're showing 60, and we need to subtract five ones. In this case, we'll need to regroup. Exchange one ten for ten ones. Record that by decreasing the number of tens from six to five and increasing the number of ones from zero to 10. Now we have enough and we can subtract. 10 minus five equals five ones and five tens minus three tens is two tens. Grab these worksheets for the lesson at my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Teaching with tutorials.